Hello, YouTube friends. I'm Fred Bergeron from Inaccess Security System. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and register to our notifications so you know exactly when we release new videos, which is probably you know once or twice a week. And um, this way, we'll you know create a bigger community of installers and integrators across Canada and the world. In today's video, I will show you how to enable the Protege GX Denival Controller onboard reader ports. As you can see on this demo kit, my readers are flashing blue and green. This means that the readers are programmed for RS-45 communication, but the controller is not ready or not programmed for RS-45, which is the default. Okay, so in the video, I will show you how to enable the onboard reader ports for RS-45 communication so that the readers communicate properly and then we can start using them for access control. Let's have a look at the software. Under the um, side tab and controllers, you see that I now have a one controller online and that it's downloaded in and receiving events properly. If you look at the list of modules that we have connected to the controller, we can see we have the keypad and we have the analog expander, um, but typically you should see a reader expander one showing under the controller in the list. Okay, so you can imagine the controller has a built-in reader expander, but by default, the controller is set for intrusion only, so the reader expander ports are not enabled. Okay, so this is why my readers are offline currently. So the first step is to make sure that under expanders and reader expanders, just to make sure you have at least one reader expander created. In this example, I want to use reader expander address one as the onboard reader port uh, or onboard reader expander for my main controller, okay? Obviously then if you have more reader expanders on the RS-45 network, the next available address will be address two, three, and, and so on. So if you have reader expander one created, what you want to do now under the general tab, make sure that the port one network type is set to I ICT-485, the same for port two, all right? So on the demo kit here, we have port one, we have port two, and this is what we want to enable and use. I'm going to save it. As soon as I save, the system will detect a database change and it will start the download process. So by the time I go back to the site and controllers page, um, the download should be completed. And then we're going to have to do um, a, a, a um, uh, we have to enable the reader expander ports and then do a module update to restart the controller and save the changes. Okay. So under sites, controller. Under the configuration tab, sorry, um, I want to enable the reader expander as address one. And the lock outputs will be, uh, you know, really three and four on the controller. So in other words, um, controller read a three, four. So these are the dry contact relays you want to use to connect your door strike or Mac lock. All right, so I, again, I enable the reader expander as address one, choose the lock outputs I want to use, I save. And if I show you, while well, I'm just saving, the system, sorry, the system is downloading. When you see saving packet to file, the download is completed. So we know the changes have been applied to the panel. Okay, if I now right click, update modules, and if you want to see the live events, while it's rebooting the controller. You see now that I have my reader expander one registered and you can see the serial number of it, which is the same as the controller serial number, obviously because it's on board. All right, if you go to sites, controllers, if you want to look at the module addressing page now, you see that we now have a reader expander showing as address one, with the same firmware, same serial number as the main controller, again, because it's on board, it's on the main panel. So if you add more modules to the system, the next reader expander will be with address number two, okay? So if we look, if we look at, the, um, at the reader expander, uh, controller reader expander here, you can see that the readers are now online. We can see that there's a blue LED on them, which is normal when the RS-45 is turned on. So this video, again, was to show you how to enable the onboard reader port, which is basically something that you have to do pretty much at every site, unless you're not doing access control with the main panel. So 
If you have any questions or comments, please send them below. We'll be more than happy to answer you. If you have ideas for new videos, share it with the ideas with us and we will make them for you. Again, it's Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Thanks for watching.